I don't know how long my Schoology account will last, so here's a quick demo of Underground Schoology, a decentralized social medium based on Schoology portfolios that I made in 10th grade. So it's a user script, uh, which I have enabled up here, and it adds a underground option to the drop down here. And when I click on it, it prompts me to create an account. So I can add a name, um, sheep. Okay. And it will create an account. Um, it creates a, port a Schoology portfolio to store your account data in um, instead of like using some other central server. And by default, all you can see is just this welcome message because you, aren't, you have to follow people in order to see their posts. So we can start by following someone else. Uh, we each have our own user ID and we can share that with other people. So a while ago, I made a test account called Emoji Tester. So let's follow them, paste their ID into this box and then click refresh. And that will load both the welcome account, Underground Schoology, and the test account, Emoji Tester. Um, and now you can see their posts as well. And when you write up, you can write a post like, hello, I like sheep. And anyone who follows you can see your post. You can also write comments on other people's posts or your own posts like, hi, I like your face. Or you can like their posts and those people who are following you and also following them, the uh, poster will see both your likes and your comments. In this way, there's no central server needed because everything, and that way everything is decentralized, which is pretty cool. And once you follow someone, you can see who else they're following. So it's just user ID. Let's try following them and refresh. It's this a mysterious individual, Forever Milk. Interesting. So it seems that they haven't posted, uh, they posted all health stuff, of course. And we can see the users they're following and follow them as well. Now we can view the data, how the data is being stored by going to our portfolios. So all underground accounts are stored as portfolios. And you can see here that there's an underground, a portfolio named underground with the name sheep. It also puts your ID here in case you forget it. And here in this page, you can see your user data and it's stored as um, JSON. And whenever you follow someone else, you fetch their uh, portfolio data here. And that way it's included in your feed. So I'm going to switch to uh, my main account. And you can see that I'm following like 27 people. So it takes quite a while to load. And that way I can see everyone's posts and their replies and comments. So here you can see that the comments and posts are being inserted as people get loaded. Because it has to fetch every single portfolio and Schoology has like a strict rate limit, it's kind of slow to load a lot of people, unfortunately, such as Schoology Underground. Here you can see the people I'm following and there's like Ovenus Real 2. You can see like their bio, it's currently set to I love self, all hail the administration, yes. Um, you can see that my uh, bio is currently set to not actually Sean. And you can change it here with the set bio button. Uh, you can also change your profile picture, PFP, to an image URL. To get underground Schoology, you can just go to the URL in the description. Uh, you also need TamperMonkey to run the user scripts. TamperMonkey is a Chrome extension. There's probably a Firefox equivalent.